guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. You guys, okay, so I've done this with my favorite brands, Bottega Veneta and The Row. And so of course, what is next in the natural evolution? I'm gonna give you guys my favorite items right now from Celine. But first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, so you guys, first of all, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. With Bottega Banana and the Row, I focus on mainly the bags. And honestly, there are some like additional elements to Celine that I've personally been loving, but also that either recently released or some pieces that I might want that I think deserve our attention. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of everything. And then of course, we're gonna end with like my favorite bags from Celine currently. First to start, this is a fragrance that I got exactly a year ago. And when I tell you this is my favorite fragrance I have in my entire collection and I think I have a pretty cool collection if I do say so myself. Humbly, of course, as she said, not humbly at all. Black tie is so sexy. It is so amazing. We know I really lean in to like, I guess a lot of people prefer this on men, but I immediately was like, um, this is me in a bottle. It's, I, I would say it's a more feminine masculine scent, if that makes sense, versus a masculine feminine scent. It is so incredible. You have to like vanilla if you like this, but there's so many elements to this that I really, really love. I apparently love a really powdery, mossy fragrance, and this is just different from everything in my entire collection while still fitting in seamlessly. I don't know how that's possible. I've been very sparing with my usage lately, but I've used a lot of it. This is a whole year, and honestly, guys, I don't see people all the time, so I'm always wearing a fragrance every single day, but now I save this for times and occasions that I'm like actually doing something so that I don't just use it up because I love it so much, because otherwise I would wear this every single day. Black Tie by Celine is iconic, and like more people need to be obsessing over it. Okay, from the small leather goods, which we know I never or very rarely talk about, I've definitely had some really cool SLGs in my collection in total in the past, but honestly, I really just leaned in. I just I just submitted to how minimal I always have been for years and years and years, how minimal I dress, but also like I really like keeping my wardrobe in total very minimal. And so I sold all of my SLGs essentially, except for two. I have one just like the most simple card holder of all time and a really cool vintage Louis Vuitton mini pochette with like trunks hand painted on it. It's very cool. Those two pieces I use at nauseam. And then I was like, ooh, I've seen the Celine wallets, but I didn't know that they had card holders that are like so perfect and I kind of might have to get one because it's just, it's so beautiful. The only thing is that I really like, I smush, my, <laughs> that's terrible. I smush my card holder in my little pochette and then my pochette goes into every other bag that I have. That's kind of the easy way that I figured out how to, you know, switch around my bags instead of like throwing lip balms everywhere. So it would have, I would, you know, the hardware might get scratched a little bit, but I would, maybe I'd just baby it a little bit more, but a card holder by Celine with that triumph that we know is so iconic. And Eddie Slaman has just like completely perfected and really, I think, updated in my own opinion and put it, it's just so perfect and contemporary while still obviously leaning to all of the amazing vintage models kind of based on or inspired by. So anyways, the card holder, I'm obsessed obsessed with the color pebble and so this would be a really good way to experiment with it and not get like a bag to start with a color that's kind of new for me and like a gray cool muddled gray get an slg it's kind of perfect and then of course if you're if you're more traditional than i am like the the wallets are amazing i know my sister-in-law has the triumph one that my mom kindly gifted her for christmas one year i think a year ago and literally like i'm obsessed and would i want one absolutely but the card holder kind of seems perfect for me. And then last two elements before we get into the bags that I've been obsessing over. Okay, you guys, I have not seen enough people talk about these as soon as these, even before they came out on the Celine website, Bloomingdale's had them and I got to see them in person and I, I yammered on about them forever. These are the Celine Triumph 12 sunglasses, which I am 
obsessed with. Like the Triumph logo is subtle. It's obviously very 90s, but not like so obviously 90s. Like the Saint Laurent sunglasses I actually really, really love that so many people have and everybody's obsessing over. This is the me version of a 90s thin sunglass. And in I think the color is called Red Havana, which like really is this very, very subtle red tortoise shell. And you guys, I'm just like fully, fully obsessed with these. These were one of my Christmas presents and I'm so blessed to have them. And honestly, I, it's like, it's hard for me not to want to wear these. Although I do have to say, Ever since I made, this is why I say I believe in the power of the pen and in, in this case videos, but truly like I, as, as soon as I did my sunglass wish list and just like honed in and really tried to figure out which sunglasses work for me, I have created the cutest new little sunglass collection and these are my favorite. Let's just be really honest. I can totally do a new sunglass collection at some point if anybody's interested, but I'm just proud of myself because I really struggled in that area for a very long time. But there is a pair, I think Tamara just unboxed them and I was like, dude, these are going in my video. This is insane. I loved the ovular Triumph sunglasses that again, so many people have, Mary has them and they just look literally like I drool like they look so good on you Mary but there's a new girl in town the geometric version which essentially they're kind of the same metal it's like the geometric version of oval so they're a little bit more angular but just so cool and as we know as I've been saying again at nauseam what everything I think is deeming as quiet luxury is real like a, a major hearkening back to the 90s to 90s minimalism and like these are so 90s I feel like all of the same sunglasses I could see like in my old parents photos when I was a little baby you know like the cool 90s New York City vibes and these like perfection I can't wait to see it like I think I feel like everybody's gonna be buying these and they're kind of iconic already two mini bags quickly and I have justification because I know even though Cassie Thorpe will always be the queen of TBE and TBE will always kind of bounce in and out. Tiny bag energy for those of you guys who are new somehow to the amazing and iconic Cassie Thorpe, my favorite person on this platform. I love her so much. But what I was saying in my bag charms video, I think it would be really cool to like, which is nothing new. I didn't just come up with this, but I think it's such a cool idea to either like physically wear two bags, a mini bag being one, or to use a mini bag as a bag charm, as like another layer on your piece. Again, it's very Phoebe Philo for Celine, which I think is such a vibe. And the, I don't know why, I just was like, oh my God, this color called Rose in the mini, I think it's called Basec. I've always struggled with that word, in the mini Basec Triumph, like, this is a tiny little bag with a little top handle. I just, no words, no words are needed for how cute this is. And again, like imagine kind of fastening this around a bigger bag that you have. It's iconic or wearing it doubled up like that as your crossbody moment. And then having like a really cool duffelie bag as another bag or work bag. Oh, I'm literally obsessed with this idea. Well, at, like I've seen these in person and I'm like, dude, if only I was at the point in my life where I could just be like, oh my God, yeah, add it to card. Of course, I love this so much. Mini Claude Triumph, like, pick a color. Pick a style, the chain I'm obsessed with, which we'll get into in the bigger normal size bags, but like this is, it's really tiny and it is so adorable. And again, could you imagine like tying this around a bigger bag? Of course, I love, I'm obsessed with my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 and I've been at, I, I got like a really cool for like $14 on eBay literal vintage coin purse and I attach that onto a bag with a vintage pleated bracelet that I have and I'm obsessed and like I would add this on to a vintage Louis bag. Maybe that's like sacrilegious, you know, combining Celine and Louis, but like how cool would this be? Just tied onto another bag or again worn like with your normal bag, but then have this one slung over again, Cassie Thorpe, like how do you not have this? I'm literally obsessed. And then the bag that I've spoken about several times already, I'm, again, I'm, we know I'm horrible at pronouncing things. I'm artist not the best with my words the Celine Heloise or Eloise probably it's Eloise because it's French this is such a stunning bag and again for someone like me even though I am going to talk about an Ava in a second the Ava is just too small for me it won't fit over my shoulders I'm much larger I'm plus size and I'm very tall or somewhat tall I'm 5'8 and so the Ava just doesn't look as good on me 
Uh, the Eloise, like, it's kind of perfection. I've been saying that it's, I, and everybody's, it makes sense. It's, it's literally the marriage between the Romy and the Ava. It's just, it's cool, it's relaxed, and yet it's so Eddie Slimane. Like, there's something so cool. Again, so 90s about it, so chic about it. And then the color light stone. Are we dying? This color? I am okay. I'm obsessed with this color. I'm obsessed with the grays. What have I been saying? Gray is coming. Gray is, gray is not just coming into the forefront. Gray is already in the forefront. So many people have been putting so many cool gray outfits, literally cool, <laughs> cool toned gray outfits together. A really, really interesting, like forward facing, muddled, interesting grays and light stone. Like I want to paint my walls with that color. And even though I have realized something and it's so cute, you know, I have to be, I have to totally admit, I was not very familiar with Jamie at Lux Petite and now I am. I've familiarized myself. Your channel is so, so, so amazing. And I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is this? I'm going to be doing my entire brown bag collection. And I was like, I, I, I definitely lean cool toned. I lean cool toned in general. Like I wear cool toned nudes, cool toned eye makeups. I just like it better. I honestly, I like it better visually to be really honest, but it also just matches better with my skin tone. I have green undertones, I'm North African, you know, it's just, it's a thing. It fits so much better. I think with me, hello. Yes, look at my nails. You know, the cool toned nudes are where it's at for me. And I had no idea that Jamie and I are like the cutest compliment to each other. Most of her bags, as I've seen, again, I need to do even deeper dives into all of her collections. Most of them are very warm toned browns, which I love on her. I don't love it as much for myself. However, in this Celine Ava with the little triumph on it, I love this color and I normally don't. And of course it's just called tan. I think that's what everybody thinks of, like, hello. Everybody in every Birkin unboxing, Kelly unboxing video, everybody always says gold by Hermes is their favorite color. And how could anybody not like that color? I, it is I. I'm the one person who will, if I ever make an Hermes wish, no gold, please. I normally don't gravitate towards the warmer toned browns. However, Celine really can't do much wrong in my eyes and Eddie Celine is such a genius. And so like the way it's done, the leather it's done in, I love this and it's so stunning. Because like, hello, you guys, this is almost the year anniversary of me getting my Celine 16. Cool toned nude, cool toned brown. Like, I, I know this doesn't really count as a brown, but I'm saying it as a brown. Anything in the nude family, I'm gonna go ahead and categorize as a brown. And like, yeah, I'm obsessed with the Celine 16. I've yammered on about it so much. Pick any. My favorites are the size small and mid. I, I never, I rarely, I do once with the row. I have a repeating bag style in two different sizes and two different colors, but I would in a heartbeat. Again, not at that place yet, but I would love to be someday to be like, oh my God, yeah. Love my small so much. We're adding a mini 16. I would one day, one day I can dream about that. And the medium, especially if you wanna take like a really cool kind of different bag to work, the medium is also stunning. We're obsessed with the 16, we already know that. And then, because I was saying this, the Celine Triumphs, again, just 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 adding in some plus size friendly content here, as I will always try to do. Because the classic Triumph, which I guess I will throw in here at the end, it just doesn't work crossbody for me. And I really struggle with my sloped shoulders with any kind of like camera bag style over a shoulder. I really want things to go crossbody. The the perfect solution is the chain. And so the Clea and the Claude with the chain, oh my, like look at the beautiful marriage between metal, leather, metal with the chain, the gorgeous leather of the actual bag and then the Triumph logo. Like either of these bags are stunning and I did actually have, I ended up selling it. As we know me, I don't wear black bags. I have one and it's from the row and she's my baby and I love her so much. But I did have maybe even from like the 1950s, 1960s, early Celine Triumph bag. That bag is definitely what the Clea is inspired by, which I think is so cool. And so like, it's just so stunning. It's very, very small. A lot of the Triumph styles, of course the Triumph bags are nice and spacious, but the other 
offshoot versions are actually quite small. Eddie Slimane really likes to lean into like the bigger billowier bags without the metal details on them, which actually makes a lot of sense design wise. So yes, they're small bags, but something about the kind of half moon shape I love, but I also like, again, I drool every time I see Mary's incredible Celine Triumph shoulder triumph. The elongated rectangle I'm smitten for, and again, with the chain and in this color called nude, like, I don't even wanna go see this in person because I will fall so hard for this so fast. It is kind of the perfect bag. And then, because I already talked about how obsessed I am with this new color called light stone, Eddie Slaman did Celine Triumph in a size teen in the color light stone in lizard. I like, oh my gosh, the way I would want this bag. Yes, I just got very excited because could you, could you imagine? Could you imagine the outfit? I don't even want to think about it because no, I'm not getting a lizard bag anytime soon. And it just, I'm obsessed for those of you who can go ahead and go out and get a lizard bag anytime, like soon. I, I will live vicariously through you. Listen, this bag is so stunning and we know how, I know, I know, respectfully so. We do know, I just have to admit how obsessed I am with exotics and my newest, like very vintage from the 1930s to 40s lizard bag. I like, I love that bag. Love my exotics by the row. One day, one day, one day, this is beyond stunning. And this cut, I just can't get over the color Lightstone. And you guys, that has been my favorite current offerings from Celine in general. Eddie Saman has just been doing one of the most beautiful jobs with this house, in my humble opinion, as always. And honestly, I, I just, I, I love seeing everybody's outfits put together with their own Celine items. And I'm obsessed. And these are the pieces that I just think are like, Mm, cream of the crop, incredible from their current selection. You guys, thank you so much for watching as always, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.